This aviation tech is hiding under your car's bonnet. This can give you the power of this engine in this one. But how does it do so? Let's untangle in this video. This thing is called as a turbocharger. What it does is it puts compressed air into your engine to get more power out of it. When you get the same power from a smaller engine, you no more need to put an bigger engine in your car. Smaller engine has a lot of advantages, like it consumes less space in your car. So you get more cabin space within that same footprint of car. Smaller engines also require less raw material. So these engines weigh less, making your car lighter. So you don't anymore have to waste fuel in carrying that big heavy engine block for that power. Also, due to less consumption of raw material for making that engine, the manufacturer saves some bucks. Also, less weight of the engine gives more power to weight ratios to the race cars. Turbos does that all just by putting in compressed air in your engine. Now you probably might be wondering, how does compressed air does that all? Since the invention of ICE engines, there is one law which hasn't changed. That is, to get more power, you have to burn more fuel as fast as possible. Putting in more fuel is as easy as opening and tap. But to burn it, you need more air. All the air you have to burn the fuel comes from the suction stroke. The intake valve opens, the piston moves down, the air gets sucked in in the combustion chamber, the valve closes. Now the air you have in the combustion chamber is what you have to burn the fuel. The IC engines were used in the planes of World War II. At sea levels, the engines performed well. But as the planes flew up in the sky, due to low pressure at high altitudes, the amount of air the engines were able to suck was very less. As engines had less air molecules in their combustion chambers, they were able to burn less fuel, making less power. So turbochargers were used to put compressed air in the engines to get more power out of them. They were called as normalizing turbo. The turbo which we use in our car are turbochargers. As you compress the air, you can fit in more air molecules in that same space. As you introduce that compressed air into your engine, you have lot of air molecules in that same small space. So you can burn more fuel. As you burn more fuel in that small tight space, lot of pressure is evolved, pushing the piston down with great force, making more power. Turbos can rev up to 300,000 RPM and can give up to 1.5 bars of pressure. Also, there is one more great advantage of turbo. It does not consume any power to compress the air. Yes, that's true. The exhaust gases you have after combustion are at very high pressure and are also very hot. So when the valve opens, they leave the combustion chamber at very high speed. This kinetic energy of the exhaust gases is used to compress new air entering the engine. Turbo looks like this. There are two housing, kinda like a snail shell. One is called intake housing while other is outlet. There is a compressor wheel in the inlet housing and a turbine wheel in the outlet housing. These two wheels are mounted on a single common shaft. When the exhaust gases from the engine enter from here, the turbine spins at very high speeds. Then this gas leaves the turbocharger from here. As turbine wheel and compressor wheel are mounted on same shaft, hence as the turbine spins, the compressor blades also spin with it. So the air entering into the turbo from this side gets compressed due to the centrifugal forces and is forced out from the turbocharger into your engine from here. A simple but a marvelous machine. We'll learn more about turbos in our future videos. If you learn something new, check out other videos on our channel and subscribe for the new ones. Also make sure you hit the like button. If having any questions, feel free to mention them down in the comment section below. As of for now, I'm signing off and see you guys next week.